Today marks a big day for science. NASA released the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope, the world's largest and most powerful telescope ever launched into space. KPI X5's Mary Lee was at the Lockheed Martin Advanced Technology Center in Palo Alto with the scientists who built this incredible telescope. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> A historic moment in astronomy. Scientists and engineers at Lockheed Martin watched together along with the rest of the world as NASA live streamed the first high resolution, full color images from the James Webb Space Telescope, a telescope they spent years making. Wow, <laughs> so proud, so excited, right? Very, very inspired. This was so exciting. It was so neat to see our work being broadcast out to the world. It's like 16 years of my life and it's finally, you finally get to see it. The Webb Telescope's camera can look farther back in space and time than ever before, offering the deepest, sharpest look into our universe ever captured. The team here at Lockheed Martin designed and built the main camera called the NearCam on the James Webb Space Telescope. This is a mock-up of just one piece of the camera that allows a NearCam to look at different wavelengths of light. Scientists are calling the James Webb Space Telescope a time machine. The telescope's infrared camera helps us see farther and more clearly into the past than ever before. This incredible image shows thousands of galaxies as it looked more than 13 billion years ago. This stunning image called the Cosmic Cliffs brought a collective gasp to the Lockheed Martin scientists and engineers. The image shows more detail, depth and texture than we've ever seen of the Crena Nebula with hundreds of previously hidden baby stars now uncovered. And you may recognize this famous galaxy group. It was featured in the holiday classic, It's a Wonderful Life. But this latest image sheds a whole new light on the five galaxies, showing sparkling clusters of millions of young stars and starburst regions of new stars being born. And check out the Southern Ring Nebula, approximately 2,500 light years away. The dimmer star at the center has been sending out rings of gas and dust for thousands of years in all directions. And now the Webb telescope is revealing for the first time this star is cloaked in dust. Now we build an instrument that can see 13.5 billion years, so very, very close to the, you know, to the when the universe started. And that, that helps us, you know, when you think on that relative scale that we're going to be able to look very, very close when everything got started. And that's why we're going to be able to see formation of galaxies, formation of stars, right? The, the very first ones. Scientists are excited to discover more about space through this telescope, saying this could change what we think and know about our universe. At Lockheed Martin Advanced Technology Center in Palo Alto, Mary Lee, KPIX 5.